Can De Niro, by the way, stop doing shitty movies? Can no. he stop no. doing shitty movies? What happened, Can't. Jimmy? The, the big wedding he's doing now with Diane Keaton and Catherine Heigl. This is one of these star-studded movies Ooh. that you just picture old fucking retirement home people going to see these movies. A terrible, terrible comedy. Oh, look who's in it. De Niro and Keaton. Oh, who else? Robin Williams is in it. And who else? Wait. It's like star-studded. Michael Keaton? No. Diane. Oh. Diane Keaton. Susan Sarandon. <laughs> you said that. Just... Susan Sarandon? Golf ball-eyed Susan Sarandon? She's a looker, though, they say. Oh, yeah. She's sexy, they say. Uh, is this the trailer? Can we see the trailer? Over. You want to see the trailer, Lionsgate, Jim? Gate, yeah. Lionsgate. Lionsgate. Wait a minute. Isn't that the one that fucking... Uh, Barricaded, yeah. Deep boy. Oh, oh wow. He married her. <laughs> oh. You insist. Oh, Donnie. Mm. Hello. Ellie. Hi. Hey. My ex-wife is here. Oh. Uh. I recognize you. He looks so, 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 so. Unexpected. No, no. Uh, wait, oh, can my you pause God. this? Hold we we got to explain Hold this on. shit. What? This Fuck is it. such They're trying dribble. to sell Susan uh, Sarandon as a hot piece of ass. That's the of all, That's the first fucking problem. And then De Niro was fooling around with her, and Diane Keaton walked in, and he goes, oh, unexpected. What are you doing? You don't want to see. Because he was about to bang her on the, yeah, the, the counter. Ki the, yeah. the kitchen counter. You don't want to see these people, like, involved in any kind of sex play, first of all. It's fucking ick. Unless he's just Max Katie. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to this faggoty music. Like, this. Yeah. Who thinks this is going to be a fucking funny movie? Oh, that trailer. This is a, a typical, again, another it's, typical trailer. Trailer people should be killed. Uh, ding, 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 and it's the go to music love, for a trailer. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's That's terrible. the go to. <laughs> These people who make trailers are fucking worthless hacks. <laughs> 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 the family gathers. Oh, okay. Right. Why are they gathering? Yeah, the wedding. The big wedding. But why would you invite your ex? Unless their last name is Gathers and they're saying it's like the family <clears throat> gathers. Oh, God. I hope not. Terrible. Uh, would you ever invite one of your exes to anything? <laughs> I think it's the kids' wedding. But Oh, I see. Then you have yeah, to have, the, have uh, to. the yeah the ex wife. Uh -oh. oh, I see. see? Uh -oh. oh, there could be problems uh -oh. with this. And who, who play the kids? What attractive couple plays Catherine the kids? Catherine Heigl and uh, who else? Topher Someone. Grace. And, I, oh, oh, Topher Grace. Go. Okay, good. Hey guys, I bet you they figure out their problems by the end of the film. Bet they do. I bet it, uh, it all works out in you the end. You know what? In the end, what's important is family <laughs> oh, and and, it, and love and ugh. And this is this picture in the paper of Diane, of uh, Catherine Heigl facing away and De Niro sitting behind, like talking to her. I guess they're on the diving board, mm. and he's not wearing any socks. And oh. it's where he's explaining, like, "We both love you, but your mother's a cunt." <laughs> <laughs> I need love, love, love. love. <laughs> oh, I hate these. Let's see more. Right. I, right. I will laugh. never see this. I will never see I this. would just to hate it. Never. I want to go to the opening. I want to go and just watch people laugh in the theater. Yeah. Right. You would see this just for the goof. No. I, I never saw, like, um... Oh, what's the like last movie that was like the? I never saw like the fucking love lo, note, the note letter, the fucking notebook. 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 That wasn't a comedy though. You said no? the the last one. That that movie's fifteen years old. Uh, no, I don't, I don't even mean that. I mean, there's another one though that oh, was like this, like that. This ensemble cast, New Year's, New Year's Eve, Valentine's Eve, Day, Valentine's Day, like all these stupid fucking things. This I just don't see them. This movie's just been made a million fucking times. Every, it's such hack. Yes. Fucking, what is De Niro they, doing? And they think if they throw Throw all these fucking legendary actors in that it's going to be. It's got to be a hit. Well, what, and they what, stink. What they're doing, it's a formula that obviously works for Hollywood. Yes. So they keep going back there. Yikes. And I know De Niro's making a lot of money, but it's like you're De Niro. You can choose any script you want, man. <clears throat> That's the beauty of him. He gets yeah. he, all he does is refuse scripts all day. Yeah. No, no. Huh? The family. <sighs> okay. Mm. Well, what was the first one? Meet the parents? Eeny, meeny, yeah, miny, yeah. moe. <laughs> Pick a script. Here I go. <laughs> you know, I live here in New York. <laughs> uh.
You see, I need to laugh. Let's hear some. Well, yeah, what, yeah. What, well, what happened? Just so you know, like uh, he was in Meet the Parents, and he <clears> was <throat> funny, and people were like, "Holy fuck, De Niro could be funny." Oh yeah, that was. And they it. haven't stopped since. That that movie's ten years old, easy, right? Yeah, so he's been doing this for that. over ten years. But it hasn't been that. Those are the exception to the rule movies, and normally he does these good movies, he and decided, then occasionally he he delves into you know. Yeah, get it. Analyze this. No, he decided this is what he has That's to do. That's his now. fucking forte now. Yeah, he has to do comedies. <clears throat> He was uh, he was born to do comedies. Well, let's see it. All right. Uh, I truly love this place. Sweetheart. Dad. You look breathtaking. You've packed on a few. Pause. <laughs> She's a cunt like her mother. <laughs> Conflict number one. That's good. All right. The, the daughter doesn't get along with daddy. Daughter uh, father tensions, but oh boy! You know what? By the end, when he's dancing to daddy's little girl on the oh, wedding sure. floor, uh, uh, raging hard on you. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna have an understanding. I mean, and let me tell you something. I saw a little peek of what we're gonna see next. I did too. Robin Williams plays the priest. Oh boy! Look out, people! I wonder if Look the priest, out! If the priest has voices. Uh, I bet the priest goes off yeah. into like tangents. Ooh, Ooh, you think he's going to do a little improv? Yeah, a little bit. You think? You know, Alejandro. Your adoptive parents, Don and Ellie, are other than Catholic. Yes. His biological mother is very much a Catholic. We just found out that she's coming to the wedding. She is. Oh, God. Ah, uh, the music stopped. Wait, now The music uh, uh, stops. Uh, wait, what and happened? And then he says now? a line. And then they go back into something. This is such fucking Wait, dribble. so he has problem parents, too? Oh. Right. Well, of course. Oh. Oh. Man, she's fucking she's really pretty. Who is that? Though. She's beautiful. Is she? Amanda Seyfried. Yeah, she's, she's the one with. We saw her tits yesterday. Oh yeah, she has really juicy, oh, fuckable right. lips. Yeah. Fucking linger longer. That's right. We saw her on Skin, uh, Mr. Skin. There. She, she right. is a uh, very, very. Attractive. She's ample. Yeah, juicy, oh, yeah. kissable lips. Mm. Why doesn't? Why don't they have a fat, ugly daughter and a fucking piece of shit like son? Well, those are that people are that we, together. because nobody in Hollywood can care about those people. Right. The group that gets together the most and talks about don't uh, undervalue, don't use the N word, don't use the R yes. word. Body image. What, what are we doing to our children <laughs> with body image? Boy, they cannot show. Ugly people. No. And I've mentioned it before, but even in Shallow Hal with Jack Black, they had to use Gwyneth Paltrow. The beautiful, to make most beautiful the, woman in the world? To make the point yes. about mm. about that fucking fat pig that Jack right. was supposed to like. They couldn't even get a fat girl to make a social point about body right. image. Yes. These fucking fakes. They're all phonies out there. I know. I have a raging heart on right now, too, for this girl. I know, She's right? Beautiful. Yeah. Big eyes, God. ample boobs. She is. Uh, nice, yeah. You know, you're trying long, to... straight blonde hair to yeah. rub your penis in. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Jimmy, once again, over the cliff. Love over it. the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Do you know what your son just told me? Uh, Al's biological mother is under the impression that divorce is a great big fat sin. Hell, it is then. That's a pretend I'm married, I bet. She gave up her only son so that I could have a chance at a better life. And now she left Columbia only to find out that I've been lying about being raised by heathens for the past 15 years. No offense. I'm taking it. Wait, what? what I know what happened here. Hold on. He left his biological mother. Right. And I guess De Niro and um, whatever are his uh, Diane step... Keaton. Diane this, Keaton. Diane Keaton, step-parents or some shit? But they're his adopted parents. The, the, yeah, they adopted this kid, but wouldn't that be a sin that the mom gave up their her, her son? Well, she did this so he could have a better life. Yeah, they're building in the story perfectly. It's yeah. not like she was a drug addict hooker, you know, who was fucking ballooning heroin. Right. There's a, <laughs> it, there's a, there's a, of course, a likable... Uh, and uh, an empathy-driven uh, backstory. Oh, to help the child. Help the yeah, child. Yeah. Not that oh. she was a cunt. It's not abandoning. Now she's leaving to come to the wedding. Right. And well, instead of just going, fuck you, I fell out of your pussy and they raised me. Right. He's embarrassed that they're not married anymore. Oh, boy. So they're probably going to have to pretend but, they're married. But, so she was married when she gave birth to this kid. Don't know. It hasn't been explained yet. Whatever it is, it's likable. That's stupid. It's likable and explainable. All right. So you got the adopted son with the Untaken. biological mom coming to town. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, but no offense, none taken. How yeah. many times has that been used? And they're really going to go with the angle that they got to make <clears throat> believe they're married. I'm guessing for a weekend for for the marriage for this fucking mother oh, who gave up her God. son just to make this this fucking pukey adopted son happy. <sighs> what happens if they realize they're in love? Uh oh. That they I never lost. Uh, oh, you think there's going to be two weddings in the end? Oh. Yuck. 
<laughs> How great would it be if they just threw a curveball, and as the wedding is happening, you see the ambulance pulling <laughs> Diane Keaton out with a fucking sheet over her head because he bludgeoned her with a lamp, like, like, the, like, the, like the Night Stalker. <laughs> And, and they take De Niro out in cuffs, and he's like, that fucking cunt. I couldn't take that fucking cunt while the wedding is happening. And that's the end of the movie. Just completely. The fucking rubes in the audience are just horrified at what they're saying. Well, why can't Hollywood do that just oh, one time? Just to, to, you know, take one of these stupid, cute comedies and really just go off the rails. Yeah. Oh, How great would that be? I need love, love. He's got blood in his fucking fingers and his beard. <laughs> Someone needs to do that movie. He bit uh, one of her tits off roll. and spit it at her. <laughs> <laughs> you would find an audience for that if you oh, took that horrendous left turn after Absolutely. this cutesy fucking uh, setup. This is what's going to happen because Hollywood's never done this before. The initial wedding. Yeah. They're going to get married. Yeah. Then they're going to have a fast forward where the parents are now married and he's got his little kids around. Ah, uh, you think? Ugh. Mm. Yeah, and the Colombian mother is like found peace right. in the fact that she helped them. Oh, God. I it. Pretend to be married for the weekend. What's the big deal? Oh, we no, nailed it. Still married. What does that make me? My concubine. Oh. What the hell did I do? Why don't you ask your wife? Yes. What? Estos son mis otros papás, Don and Ellie Griffin. Um, esto e casa. I don't know how to speak it properly. Funny every time. Every Funny time. every time. Funny every time. Wow. Yeah, that's wow. right. Kowtow to the whimsy Ugh. of this fucking absentee hole from Columbia. All right, why don't you tell her to speak fucking English? <laughs> absentee hole. Yeah, you, you, A, we have to pretend we're married and B, yeah. feel bad that we don't... How about you fucking show up with an interpreter? For her? Oh. Shit tits. Yeah, tell her go fuck yourself. Who's going through all this shit? Yo, exactly. Roland uh, Spano. Sounds like the straight version of the birdcage. Wasn't that kind of the thing in the birdcage where was they had it? to make believe they weren't gay or something? Yeah, but that was a funny movie, though. This is it was funny. terrible. You're right. It was funny. So now uh, the mom comes, and they got to make believe they're married, and that pisses off Susan Sarandon. She can't go with the thing that uh, right. the, they're fucking married for the weekend. Uh, That's why she said, ask your wife. Like, she's really believing that uh -huh. they're now. Uh -huh. Ugh. Yeah. This looks good. I said to De Niro, go, well, we're sorry that this happened, but we took care of you. And we don't care what this woman thinks. Exactly. We don't care what she thinks. Tell this cunt to sit in the back and have a margarita. Right. I'll plant my foot right in her fucking... She probably raises Pablo Escobar's animals since he died. <laughs> Fuck her. Fuck her. Wow. Why would they do this? I don't know. Let's find out, though. Because, you know, the trailer gives away everything. In yeah. The end. This house is so oh, beautiful, she says. Geez, Let's see what she finds wrong with it. Oh, my goodness. I have such wonderful taste. <laughs> Welcome to Ripuan Country Club. I will be your captain this evening. I'll have the filet mignon. Don't think so. <laughs> ah, oh, boy. Boy. She's pissed off! Oh boy, she's... She was pretending to be a waitress because right. she's the scorned mistress. And the fucking... <laughs> Oh. They're ordering it. And De Niro goes, I want the with the filet mignon. Yeah. She goes, I don't think so. And she drops the menu. And the other lady's like, what the heck? Drops the menu right in his lap. And, and, and yeah. oh, that's fun. That's a funny scene and, right there. And De Niro's just going to put up with this shit? Even though I saw it in the trailer, I'll probably still laugh when I see it in the movie. Absolutely. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. they don't tell you enough. What would be funny is if he goes, do you call them carrots? And he flipped the <laughs> table over and punched her in the fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Uh, Why do they do these it's movies? It's utter fucking garbage. Man, I hope they lose. Mainstream on media this. just loves this shit. No, they're killing it. They're killing it. Yeah, but they'll it. they'll, they'll they? still go see it for whatever reason. People will. People are dopes, but they're, oh, they're yeah, getting yeah. murdered on this one. Number one at the box office is the wedding this weekend. Uh, yeah. How many stars in the paper? One. One star. One yeah. star. Which I don't always give credit to, but you know sometimes they're right. Well, what did the other paper give it? I, I didn't read it. I just happened to see this. In, in We're about Rotten name. Tomatoes. All right, we'll get there eventually. Let's get to the end of the trailer here. All right. Run through the cast. You know, I stayed away from you for all these years because I'm your daughter. Jared got mom's trace, and I won the lottery with all of you. You were in love with Don Griffin from the first time I introduced you. Well, then why don't you just run me over with your car or something? You were my best friend. Uh, they show you every part of this. It must be very comforting to know that not everybody hates you. Kika! Would somebody just please punch me in the face again? Oh, yeah, everyone in the audience wants to. Holy shit. 
What he, is gets, he won't wait, say wait. no to a movie, this guy. No. And what does it say? Click to watch the ultimate pain and game trailer? What is that? Is that for another movie? Yeah, pain and game. Yeah, that's, that's what The Rock. The Rock oh, oh, oh of Marky course, Mark. Of course, of course, of course. You know what movie Sorry. might be good, though? Iron Man 3. Oh, yeah. Which we Whoa. have, uh, because I guess we have Ben Kingsley next week, we couldn't get Don Cheadle today. Oh. The big wedding. Wait, we got Ben next week? We do, yeah, but I guess we can't. We just Don wow. Cheadle's coming in at 10, and we can't get him on the show. Wow. I don't know We'd why. We'd stay late for Don Cheadle. Mm. We love Don Cheadle. We treated him great when he was yeah. in. I don't know why we can't get he him. He had fun. Yeah, he did. He was great. He was on for, what, five minutes, maybe? Yeah, it was a stop in. He had some laughs. He was very, very nice. He was very cool. And we cannot get him booked Ooh. back on the show. All right, we're on Rotten Tomatoes. First of all, what's the overall rating for the movie? Four. Four, wow. Okay. Four but... percent. And what's the 81%? The hell is that? Wait, go back. 81%. I mean, that's audience, but that's got to be such a small group because it's right. not out yet. Yeah, okay. So. Yeah, that scared me. But go to the uh, the Fresh Tomato. There's a person that actually liked the movie. What, what, do, they they, what do they say? say? Yes. Roger Moore from Movie Nation. Roger Moore. Uh, broad, coarse, and crude. But bottom line, a lot of good actors land more than a few laughs. Uh, I, I doubt that. Yeah, he's a, I guy's doubt a douche. That. He gave it uh, three stars. Almost floor. three stars. Yeah. Two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah. What a fucking piece Who of else gave shit it like movie. Dirt. Who else gave it a fresh start? Oh. Just that guy. He made the 4%. Oh, all right. Everyone and wait, give, it, give me a bad review. Maybe yeah. one that really is. Uh, Seattle Times. It's a mess and not in a good way. Los Angeles Times. Like many big weddings, a lot of things go wrong and not much goes right. Newsday. This movie plays like an episode of Gilligan's Island done as, as straight as an episode of Lost. Wow. Uh, New York Times. The screenplay is chopped up into smutty sound bites and constructed around the notion that casual obscenity delivered by respected actors of a certain age is hilarious, <laughs> yes. but it's just embarrassing. Nice. Yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Hollywood Reporter. A game cast and lots of gamey R-rated shenanigans can't compensate for the silly comic contrivances. Don't know contrivances. what contrivances. Dunce. I don't know contrivances. Contrivances. <laughs> contrivances. I like it that better that <laughs> way. Contrivances. Yeah. They dominate yeah. the big wedding. It's like epitome. Yeah, wait, the fucking Hollywood Reporter going for a big word. Fuck yeah. them. Yeah, that's Fuck them. Uh, USA Today, <laughs> it might take a glass of champagne or two to get through the big way. Oh, see? Because right. that's where you drink it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he tied the review into the oh. hook. That's a great newspaper. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> that's, that's a really relevant newspaper. Which issue is this? It's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday edition. <laughs> <laughs> fucking right. asshole. They piece still of can't shit. figure that out. No, they stink. Uh, there was a time that kind of made sense, but not oh. in this new world we live in. Three living. days. You, you can't can have a paper that lasts three days. covers three days of your news. USA Today sucks. Film Oops. Journal International. Comedy about a wedding where the groom's divorced parents must pretend to still be married. The production should have been annulled. Whoa. Nice. Oh, they tied in wedding Another wedding there, thing yeah. there. That Pacino's really at funny. least doing real roles. Like, he's playing Phil Spector. He played Kevorkian. Yeah. You know, like, he's trying to do all these challenging things. Yeah, but he also was in Adam Sandler. He'll do movie. some terrible movies, too. But I'm saying, I overall, was in Simone! <laughs> <laughs> overall, he's trying yeah, to do De Niro just wants... He's, he's like, semi-retired. Uh, oh. He's just getting these quick, uh, you know, paydays. One, you, don't, you don't give a fuck. Yeah. One, Gotta respect that in a way, I guess. Uh, but he's been doing it for years. Dude. Yeah, yeah, what yeah, terrible yeah. movie. He's terrible. Another. He's terrible. He should dip back into some real roles. But uh, uh, what was his last re real role, De Niro? Silver Linings. Even and that was. Fucking yeah, he hard. was just all right in that. Yeah. yeah. I felt like I was watching De Niro the whole time. You yeah. Know what I mean, you want you want to like forget that he looks like he's just walking through this movie too this one he doesn't he doesn't act he probably filmed it in a weekend yeah yeah they usually weeks, when, maybe. when they get that many big stars together yeah. they don't have any time the scheduling and everything well, so they wind up shooting it like you said yeah on a weekend well the best one was uh the third meet the parents i think that was Meet the Fockers. Meet the Fockers. Oh, no, no. Um, Little Fockers. Little Fockers, oh, right. Boy, they couldn't. You we're, look at that. We're saying fuck we're, again, people. Look, look. And remember, we uh, we we, we uh, dissected that movie. It turned out that they weren't even on set together. Yeah. And you could tell they have that shot of like, like fucking one of them comes walking through the front door. Hi, I'm here. And it's just the dead on straight shot. Right. There's no one around her. Right. Because it was done in some fucking studio somewhere. Yeah, they thought that was a good idea. And <laughs> yeah. it was so obvious that they weren't with each other a lot of the time. And then we learned, yeah. I think they, 
we were able to get him on set for, I think it was, I'm trying to remember now, maybe two days? Yeah. Three days tops? Yeah. It just didn't work. It fucked up the whole franchise. But he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight movies coming out. Who? Oh. De Niro. Wow. Um, I saw last night, I saw that uh, Jack Reacher movie. Ooh. You know what? As far as just mindless, fucking senseless violence movie, I didn't mind it. <laughs> it wasn't all that bad. Yeah. No, it's over the top, you know, like cornball, d d tough guy dialogue and yeah. shit. But you know what? Didn't mind it. I've seen where I saw that in a theater when I was in Buffalo. And yeah. New, and, uh, it was better than I thought it was going to be. I still yeah. didn't like it, though. That's what, it, you know, uh, I, it was better than I thought it was going to be. I like the opening sequence there with these guys blasting people with the fucking sniper rifle. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I didn't mind that one. Um, I don't get to go to movies anymore. Oh no! I got I got at my house. Well, was it a was it on demand? Yeah. Oh, it's on demand. I, I demanded it. 